Well, my husband brought these uh, pieces of cedar up to see if I wanted them a long time ago, and somehow they got shoved down behind the seat and was cleaning off the front porch, and he was going to throw them out, and I said, no, let me try making a large star with them. So I'll take them in and I'll cut five pieces the same length down and I'll let you know how long I cut them and I'm trying to make a large star out of them for Christmas. Okay I brought them out to the garage and I cut them down to three foot long and I have five pieces three foot long and I laid them down on here and just start placing where I want them. They're not going to be perfect but it's not supposed to be. And I have my bread nailer and some glue and I'm gonna start putting it together with that. Well, I got it all nailed together and I don't know what else I'm gonna do to it right now. But while I'm out here in the garage, I am, let me sit this aside. I have a board, an old piece of barn wood and I'm going to set this on top of my stove. And I'll turn this over. This will be the front here. So I'll turn it over and I'll put this on blue and now this piece on the back. And that way, this piece here, when I turn this up for the shelf, this piece will go down between the wall and the stove and I'll have a little shelf on my stove. I see other people have them. I don't know how they make them, but I had some old barn wood, so that's what I'm doing in this project also. Okay, I put a, a bead of glue all the way down the edge. Now I'm gonna take this piece, this piece here and put it on there, and I'm gonna nail it on. So it's gonna be glued and nailed. Okay, I have it all put together and I took it in and it worked, it fit snug and good. This will be the top. So I'll take it in now and put a, probably three coats of poly acrylic on it because it's gonna be by the stove where grease is at. So it's gonna have to be sealed. I'm sitting here at the table. I see some runs. And I'm giving it a coat of the poly acrylic or polyacrylic. And I'll probably give it two coats. I'll show you the difference there. It is coated and not coated. There you can see the difference. Okay, I'm gonna finish on and give it two coats on the top and two coats on the bottom and it'll be done unless I decide I want to decorate it a little bit, but I'm just not sure on it yet. Well, I'm back in the garage, and this is a post that my sister gave me. I think it was just an old bed post, and I only have one of them. And it had this on the bottom. Of course, I cut just a little, I cut just a little, I cut the post off right there. And then I cut a little more off to get rid of that and stabilize it. And I've sanded on it just a little bit. And I have another thick piece of wood here. I can get it picked up. Not like that. That's going to be the bottom. And I'm going to make a Christmas, put some little Christmas signs on it. I filled this in with a shim because it was going to be on the side. Now, the back side, of course, has those right there because that's where the bed fit into it. But I'm going to anchor it down on there somehow, but I'm getting it all ready. And then I'm going to put a couple little boards. I don't know if I can let that go. Yeah, across like that and make it Christmassy. I don't know what I'm going to put on it yet, but that's what I'm working on with this scrap wood that was out here in the garage. And then I also have this little 
top piece left. I bet a bottle brush tree goes in that sometime. Now I went and found another old piece of wood board and I'm going to cut these, I believe, 15 inches long. I'm going to cut three of them, but I'm not sure if I'll use all three of them since it's a sh such a short post. I do have a thinner piece of wood right here, but it might be kind of hard to... Well, I guess I could get stuff on there. It just wouldn't show up as well, the wording on something this small. But yet for the, the height of this post, that size works. So I'm trying to figure out just what to do, which one to use. But whatever, it's gonna be cut at 15 inches. The, the board that goes across up here, they're gonna be 15 inches long. Okay, I cut three and I think that's gonna work just fine. It still gives plenty of room from the bottom of the base up to the top. I think that'll be fine. Now I gotta figure out what I am going to do with them. I'm probably, I'm thinking on the post, maybe putting my vinegar and, you know, the vinegar that I soak steel wool in, and it'll turn it a darker color. And then on these, just, sand the face just a little bit and do a light skim of a color on it on each one not cover it totally and then put my wording on it and i've got to figure out what i'm going to put on it also and then i'll need to attach it to the base and the base i don't know what i'm going to do with it i don't know it needs to be sealed good in case sitting on a porch uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna start working some more on this. Okay, on the post, I went ahead and put a coat of poly acrylic on it. It looks nice. And on this base here, I'm putting this vinegar solution. Well, it's not a solution, it's just vinegar. And I had, um, Steel wool sitting in it for about two weeks or so. Took the steel wool, steel wool out. The mixture was turning dark. And I took the steel wool out. And now I can use it to age the wood. It'll just make it look old. When it's dry, it'll look old. Well, really, there's so many different kinds of wood here. It's pressed. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but we're gonna see. And then I'll end up probably putting some poly acrylic on it. But it just looked too new. So I'm gonna let that dry. It's not gonna hurt to turn it over. And coat the top now. It's a nice day to be out here. It's not real hot. I think it's finally cooled down. I don't want it to go cold, which is probably what's going to happen pretty fast. I mean, this is what, the middle of October? I'm getting towards the middle, and it's been hot like summer. You can see that starting to turn. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. That's all I have to do is give it that one coat. I'm going to let it dry and put dry well and put some polycrylic on it. All right, my wood is dry and that's the color it turned and I'm putting some poly acrylic on it and you can see the difference in color. Of course, this isn't dry yet, but it did turn it darker and it does look older. Looks nothing like it did before. And that will match my pedestal a lot better. Now I'm ready to put my coats on my wood that goes on my post. And I'm not gonna do a, a heavy coat or anything. I'm just gonna brush it on. And then I'll take these back out to the garage and I'll take my sander 
and sand them down, and then I'll bring them back in and start working on the stencils that I have made up for them. So to start with, I'm going to put the plaster. This is a little more paint. Just going to do this. And I am going to sand it, so I'm putting not a lot on, but trying to get it covered good, mainly in the middle. I need to put my sleeves up or I'll have them all painted. Okay, I think that looks pretty good for that one. I'll get me a baggie for my brush. I'll set this aside to dry. We'll start with the green. I gotta be careful because I'll be going into my white. Ah, clogged. Probably enough, I'm not for sure. That's a pretty color green. I am using the chippy brushes for this. Just about got this one. We're gonna have to get a different plate for my red. Now I'll set that one aside. All right, I got me a different plate. I see a Kit Kat here. And now I'm going to put on the Country Red by Americana. And then I'll set this one aside and let it dry, and then I'll take them out to the garage and set them back a little bit. Lauren caught a little quail in the trap we had out. He's going to take it for rats. Out. Yeah, for the rats. He's going to take it out and turn it loose. We have lots of quail. He just said, he's closing his eyes. He's saying, I don't want to see what's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> Now, I'm ready to start stenciling. I did take them out to the garage and sanded them back some, just a little bit, as you can see there and there. Now, my stencil's all ready that I did on my Cameo, and I'm going to start with the Merry Christmas, and I'm just going to start stenciling. And I'm going to get these all stenciled. And I'll be back with you because I'm not going to have you sit here and wait for me to stencil all this. I'll come back and pull this one here off when it's finished. And we'll see how it looks. Alright, I have it stenciled and I'm ready to pull it off and see what it looks like. I don't see too much bleeding yet. Really, I don't see any. 
Oh yeah, that's looking good. Gonna weed all this out. And I'll probably sand the letters just a smidget, just a little bit. Yeah, I like the way that looks. Now I'm going to start on the green and the red one. And the green one I'm going to have, let's see, which way I want to do that. Yeah, I'm going to have the Christmas trees on the green and the sleigh rides on the red. I'm going to finish those up and then they'll be ready to, I'm going to put some poly acrylic on them to seal them in. And they'll be ready to be attached to the post. My post's ready to go, except I don't have the post on my bottom piece. All right, I took them out to the garage and sanded them back just a little bit. And now I'm gonna put some poly acrylic on them. I'm just gonna do a little bit for y'all. Kind of brings out the color of the red, even though they're kind of sanded back. I'm gonna do this to each one of them and coat them real good. And then I'll be ready to put my post together. I waited to the end to give you a picture of each uh, craft that I finished because I was doing them all at the same time and I didn't know how to separate them. So here are my finished products. There's the star and I didn't decorate it. I left it plain and the little shelf above my stove. I love it. And the post that my sister gave me, it turned out just so cute. It The picture really doesn't do it justice. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next one, we'll see you later.